Let not that man think he should receive anything. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Shemi Aoshai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that do rule well. Salutation to the men of the hopeful and saints elect. This is out here in Trinidad. I just want to do another edification for the elect's sake. And as I said before, let not that man think he should receive anything. All right, and basically this was taken from the book of James. This is James chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh, that give it to all men liberally, and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. It says, But let him ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with wind and tossed. For let not that man think he should receive anything of the Lord. All right? And wherever you asking the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahashai for, um, where is it? Wherever you asking the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahashai for, <coughs> you know, you will receive all right this is matthew 21 and verse 22 it says and all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive all right so you have to believe whatsoever you ask in prayer believing so if you ask in as the scripture says you receive not because you ask not and because you ask amiss you know you going out there you praying you fasting but then you doubting that the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahashai can give you your heart's desire, the thing that you desire, whether it's, you know, you probably not in a dire straits, you need um, probably money to do something, or probably health wise, or, you know, just, you know, anything, anything. Whoever you're asking the Lord for, but you asking. And you doubt in the, you know, in the back of your mind, you're studying if the Lord will really help you, if the Lord will deal with you, if the Lord's still dealing with you, you know. And all that, it, it comes on that doubt and you're allowing them spirits to plague your mind. And with that, you wouldn't receive anything of the Lord because you doubt in the power and might of Yahaba Shemia or Shai. And a lot of times, doubt comes in, all right? Is because of some form of uncleanness or wickedness that you're doing. All right, this is First John chapter four and eighteen. It says there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, and fear will actually lead to doubt. And when you fear, you know, less any time of Jacob's trouble, you see, how is I coming? And you know, you you fight. You are with, would the Lord deliver me? Would the Lord save me? And all that because you remember in some wickedness that you was doing, you know, for the past year, for the past two years. And then, you you know, you worried about what the Lord going to do, if he going to help you or not. If he going to send down the light or if he going to send down the laser beam. All right. And it all because your love was not perfected in Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. It says, because fear had torment. He that fear it is not made perfect in love. And because you're not made perfect in love, you're going to start a Doubt the power of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai and the Lord not gonna answer your prayers. That is why the name of the lesson is let not that man think he should receive anything. Alright, this is first John chapter 3 and verse 20 says, For if our heart condemn us, Yahaba Hashem Yahushai is greater than our heart and know it all things. It says, Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence. <clears throat> Towards Yahweh. We have that confidence towards Yahweh, which that confidence will fall under the bracket of faith. All right? Doubt falls on the bracket of fear. All right? So if you have confidence in the Lord, you will pray and you will you would receive because you're praying and asking in faith, asking and believing that the Lord Yahweh Hashem is going to grant you your desire, what you're asking Him for. But if you doubt in, you would not receive. And the greatest thing that you would not receive is the salvation of your soul because you doubting. You doubting the law because why? Because you're doing wickedness. All right? So cut off the uncleanness and that will actually increase. It will, as the scripture says, in corruption, 
make it us neon te aba shimi al shai. So when you cut off in corruption, you will see the Lord coming close and join near unto you, and that will increase your faith and confidence in the Lord. So therefore, when you pray, you would believe. You would believe. All right? So increase your confidence in the Lord, Yahaba Shimia or Shai. All right? This is the book of Acts, chapter 19. And verse 13, it says, Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, saying, We adjure you by Yahweh Shai, whom Paul preached. So, yeah, they know eh, they know that name working. You know the name working, but guess what? You don't have the faith to back it up. Hence, the reason they said, Whom Paul preached it. All right? Because why? Because they saw it work for Paul. So they say, Ah, yeah, it worked for Paul. So let's see if I make mention of Paul. It's like you go. You know, in a store, and you say, you know, this one sent me. So you hope to get a discount. It don't work like that with Yahaba Shimia or Shai. If you don't have faith in Yahaba Shimia or Shai, guess what? Things ain't gonna go your way. It says, it says, um, and there were seven sons of one Skiva, a Jew, and the chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh Shai, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. All right? Because why? Because there was no faith. The name of Yahweh Hashem is a strong tower. But without faith, it ain't going to work for you. It's not going to work for you. You're not going to receive anything if you have doubt. So you have to believe when you pray. You have to believe. <clears throat> Alright. The final precept here. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 2. And verse 12 it says. Woe unto the fearful hearts. And faint hands. And the sinner that goeth two ways. You know that doubtful man. Alright. He going two ways. It says. Woe unto him that is faint hearted. For he believed not. It says woe. Woe means destruction. Woe unto him that is faint hearted. For he believed not. Therefore he shall not be defended. So if you if you don't have faith in your Hashem, you're not going to be defended. As I said, the greatest time when you will need salvation, when you will need an answering from the Lord, your Hashem, is in the days of Jacob's trouble. In the time of trouble, <coughs> You'll want the Lord Yahaba Hashemi and Shai to deliver you. And if you pray and you're not believing, let's say you don't have food, you know, you're praying for security, you're praying for water or shelter or clothing. But you doubt and if the Lord will answer you, guess what? The Lord ain't gonna hear you. Those prayers not gonna come up. Those prayers not gonna come up. You don't have enough pressure. You know, like if, like like in a fuel pump, you have the fuel pressure, you don't have the, the required fuel pressure to reach to the heavens. It don't have the required pressure to reach for the heaven. That, that prayer with doubt, it's just going to come out your mouth and fall straight to the ground. Right? You need to have that faith pressure. All right? That faith pressure to send them prayers all the way up. Because if you have that faith pressure, guess what? The Lord Yahweh Hashem is not going to accept them prayers. Your prayer is supposed to come unto the Lord as a, <clears throat> as a sweet saver. So if it if it not mixed with faith, guess what? The Lord not receiving now. The Lord not receiving now. It's like you know you send a letter. You have to send a letter the proper way. You have to have it in an envelope. You have to have the the the, the stick on it. And if it don't have that, guess what? It's not gonna be sent. So you say to the Lord, you have to send them prayers the proper way. So if you doubting, Yahaba Shemel Shai will not accept your prayers. Remember this, all right? And with that. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great men do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole land, Saint Selek. There's a brother, Makazo, out here in Trinidad. Just want to say Shalawam and stay strong. And we're almost out. Shalawam.